I'm Randy Stroop. I'm with First Class Services. We're based in Lewisport, Kentucky. We operate a tanker fleet. We operate about 106 tractors and some 220 trailers. This truck was bought by a friend of mine here at Peterbilt of Louisville in 1986, Robbie Stewart. Uh, two years ago, I purchased this truck from Robbie. When we started this project, what we wanted to do was we wanted to keep the 359 funnel mills intact, the original dash, but we wanted to take it obviously to the next level. It's been pretty well boosted up. We've got to, uh, we've changed the injectors and turbo. It started out as a four and a quarter, and we're up about somewhere around 730 horse. And of course, you can, as you can see, we put a whole lot of accessories, chrome, whatever on it. I'm Jeff from uh, 12 Gauge Customs, we're out of Ontario, Canada. I got hooked up with the guys from First Class back in. Uh, about the middle of December and they had told me that they wanted to build a truck for the build-off. They said, you know, they wanted to build a classic truck prestige and, you know, basically everybody, you know, for us, we're on the same page. If you want a cool old truck, you build a 359. And from there, he's trying to figure out how to build something that everybody could appreciate from the driver, you know, right up to the collector. First, we did some research of what was cool back in the 80s. and. Uh, Back in the 80s, everybody had double eagle sleepers. A double eagle sleeper, one of their trademarks is this panel on the back that's all lined up. Now, we wanted to keep everything going with the same Peterbilt concept. So what we did is we took this, they have a 63 inch Unibilt, which is a newer model, but in the same time, we were trying to build a traditional look and yet keep a classic look with comfort so we had taken this panel out of our shop and we had, we had put the brake lines in it to give that old double eagle look and then we were able to make it so that it flush mounted, no hucks on it, keep a nice clean, smooth look. The lines actually became the theory or the theme of the whole truck. As you can see the paint on the frame, you know, and that's just something that just started to happen. It really didn't plan out that way, but it's just, it just will come in and you can see the detail through everything follows that whole, that whole transition. Right from the door panels, which are all, it's hard to see right here, but they've actually all had a 10 foul cut out of them. We did the fuel tank straps we made at our shop, and this is one of the guys that works in the body shop idea. He had said, you know, what if we you know, had these milled out to match the doors and the frame, and was, I, I didn't think of it, it turned out, turned out excellent. We had that done, and again, it follows the same kind of theme throughout the project. And you can see it through the interior. We kept the old traditional. The twisted gear shifts are from Outlaw Customs out of Colorado. And we followed uh, the same deal with the billet all through the doors and the lines all through the interior. This idea come to us the last week. And we weren't sure at that point, we still hadn't figured out what we were going to do with the grill. It just didn't, you know, it's just trying to it was hard, too hard to find something that hadn't been done and it was too late in the game to build something. So we actually took a details grill and those guys are out of Kansas City, do beautiful work. And we sent it to a place out in Las Vegas that does all the diamond etching on the heads for Harleys and you know, off s, s engines. It kind of sticks to that whole classic, the classic look of the whole truck, you know? Something that's not too much, but it's got the right amount of detail to keep it good. Every stitch of the truck had to be painted to gold for a gold base. You gotta have a you gotta have a base color for your candy color. So the whole truck was painted this color gold, and then we come back and we laid out the design for the red stripes. It's like six coats of candy apple red in the stripes, and then we had to cover all that up and start on the orange. About five different oranges faded together. There is what we did on that. So there's a lot of paint on this truck. <laughs> Phenomenal amount of extra work. I was also operating 100 trucks plus managing this truck, keeping sure it was done in a timely manner, be sure we was gonna get it here, which we barely did make. Our original plans was to use a truck that's gonna take my 13-year-old son to California. We was gonna spend the month of July there. Okay. But uh, we may regroup here. We may just haul it around and do some different shows and deals like that.